Hey everyone, Will here from my flea market finds for March 1st, 2015. Um, my first haul video I've done in uh, about three weeks now. Uh, the weather has not been cooperating. Uh, as you can see from behind me, uh, we got a good bit of snow last week, which uh, pretty much shut everything down. I managed to go out and do a little bit of shopping, uh, mainly off of Craigslist. I uh, went to a good uh, shed clean out. Uh, that they were selling everything they had to clean out the shed uh, lots of tools uh, I'll show you some of that uh, so let's uh, let me show you what I got this is from a shed clean out the best piece of the lot uh, like I said people are cleaning out the shed uh, got to get rid of everything uh, the best piece of the lot was a, a rigid uh, drain cleaner uh, automatic uh, electric it was a K50 drain auger uh, with the accessories I put it on eBay for 260 local pickup only and a guy bought it within like three days uh, uh, came out picked it up no problem uh, I'm starting to think eBay is a better place to sell uh, big stuff than Craigslist a lot less uh, hassle the guy just paid through PayPal and came picked it up and off he went but uh, so I paid fifty dollars for that and got 260 and this lot here uh, to give you an idea uh, this was uh, 20 that was five and uh, these two bins were 20 uh, 25 so 50 bucks here and uh, so let me see, uh, let me show you some of the stuff. I love these things. Old time sink hangers, uh, made by standard, cast iron. They just don't make them anymore. Uh, here's, here's something like they make today, uh, just a pressed steel. But for somebody that has old home that they're doing a period uh, renovation and they want all original stuff, they want this stuff. And a sink bracket like this, I sell them all the time. I'll get about between thirty and forty dollars for this bracket alone. And uh, this whole bunch of uh, stuff here's is a file somebody will use for knife making. I'll put that in a box with other files. Whole bunch of uh, whole bucket of brass here. Not sure how I'll handle that. Here's a uh, uh, rigid. Uh, basin wrench got a uh, bunch of stuff here there's a nice heavy duty uh, pulley there's a uh, torch got some copper here's uh, some uh, whole thing of uh, solder got some silver solder in there uh, drain auger still, still in the box this thing here is a uh, torch uh, not a torch but a uh, some kind of burner uh, it sets on top there and actually the metal crate uh, if you can see here it's a seal test uh, milk crate uh, that'll bring about between 30 40 dollars for itself so uh, yeah it looks like a pile of junk but uh, price it out and uh, there's money there I uh, got a whole bunch of uh, lighters, a bunch of Zippos, the uh, Marlboro uh, Zippo uh, Bronco Buster there. Too bad the guy put his uh, initials on that one. But uh, lighters always do well for me. Uh, bicycle tank. Not quite sure what brand bike that goes to, but it's definitely a boy's bike, uh, which helps it. Uh, bicycle tanks went out of style back in the 1960s so if you were a kid back in the 1960s uh, one of the first things you did when you got a bike got a hand-me-down bike was take the tank off of it and usually throw it away uh, so there's a shortage of these original tanks around uh, have to do a little research try to find out what it goes to paid 20 for this 
but uh, depending on what it fits, uh, it should make some good money. A couple paperweights, uh, old time one. I actually passed up an old paperweight like this uh, months and months ago, and it's one of the guys I watch. It sells on eBay. He turned around, and sold it for fifty bucks on eBay. It was like uh, it said Happy New Year or something like that. So when I saw this for seven, picked that up. Hopefully, I can do the same with that. Uh, this is a pretty neat paperweight. It's a it's a newer one. Let's see if I can zoom in on the bottom here. Uh, Kathness. Robert the Bruce Scotland and it's a limited edition got like a cobweb in, in there uh, found an example of this on worth point it sold for 120 this one has a little scratch right here there's a local jeweler that'll polish out scratches and chips so I think uh, for a little bit of that it'll cost to uh, get that done it'd be worth it for this piece once I do that, uh, that should be 120. Uh, this was 50 bucks, so at uh, should be a nice profit. One of my favorite things is the uh, Recurve Archery Set. Now it's been used, you can tell by the wear on the bow, but still to have the original box, uh, pretty good. Only ten dollars for that set. Uh, lots of archery collectors out there and uh, should sell well um, that might be a hundred dollar set right there bought these the intention wasn't to sell them uh, got them for my kids got two pairs actually one pair for uh, William one pair for Nathan uh, slightly different actually one pair is made in Italy this pair is made in China LL Bean got them for 40 bucks they're practically brand new I think the reason my son does, William doesn't want to wear them is that uh, they're women's uh, so we're gonna sell them and uh, probably still make a profit on them some uh, older uh, perfumes there uh, 10 bucks a piece I've done well with uh, the old perfume still in the box this thing uh, may keep that around uh, Peter uh, Chesapeake uh, blue crab there. Uh, this lot spent 40 bucks for the uh, knife set patches, Boy Scout knife and Zippo. Uh, a couple nice Zippos there. Haven't looked, can't make out a name on the Boy Scout knife. Bunch of patches from the uh, reenactors, Civil War reenactors. And the uh, knives are it's a Cutco uh, set so I'm thinking somewhere between 100 120 by the time I sell everything here Cutco knives uh, should do a little cleanup on them but uh, you can always tell the Cutco uh, one of the ways is the handles they got that uh, uh, nice little grip there Uh, the loose porcelain pieces here were five bucks a piece. Got a uh, nice piece of uh, Falper uh, candlestick holder there. Uh, the Hubley truck was ten, but you gotta be careful of reproductions on these. But this is definitely original from the cracks in the tires and the wear. Uh, nice little Hubley there. The cats are Royal Dalton good quality always had uh, good luck selling uh, Royal Dalton uh, these three pieces like the Fox or is that a raccoon no it's a raccoon uh, Goble all Goble uh, we'll sell them individually uh, years ago I had really good luck selling a, a Meerschaum pipe uh, sold that for like hundred and twenty Wish this one had to stem, but that's not a huge deal. Could probably find uh, find one put on there. But the uh, carved meerschaum, uh, I guess you'd call that a stag. 
or is that a, no, what am I thinking, it's a rabbit, where is this, no, I guess that's horns, I was thinking they were ears, uh, 15 bucks on that, uh, moving on, the big buy of the day is this uh, whole collection, uh, a guy told me there's 75 of them in here, and they are this, uh, Hagen Reniker uh, figures. He wanted two dollars a piece, so it came out to 150 bucks. He wouldn't come down on it at all because uh, he knew there was some good stuff in here. Uh, this piece, for instance, is about a 25 dollar piece. Uh, the cat on the scratching post uh, just sold uh, one just sold just like this on eBay, nine bucks. So, and I have three of them, so there's 27 there. So go through, price them individually. Some of the retired pieces have uh, um, will bring uh, pretty good money. Uh, I'm thinking I should get about three times my money on this. Uh, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Hey, uh, Charlie Weaver. Uh, bartender uh, looks like it's never had batteries in it he does have a little bit of like I guess you call it oxidation on the plastic but that just cleans right off paid fifty dollars for this and if he was mint uh, mainly because the damage on the box uh, if it wasn't red damage on the box I think I'd get an easy 200 out of them uh, with this box like that I'm thinking 150 might take a little bit of time but pretty uh, confident I can get that lots of variations on this one uh, lots of times the box you see it'll have uh, a Charlie Weaver figure instead of this cartoonish one but uh, popular piece uh, still popular with collectors last piece to show you whole box of somebody saved they're freezer boxes. They buy strawberries or whatever and uh, save the boxes. Um, it's an international harvester company. Uh, pretty neat. They were uh, 25 bucks for this entire box and I'll sell them individually. Um, who knows? We'll see how they do. Took a chance on them. So there you go. Uh, glad that it's March. That means that warmer weather is just around the corner. Uh, keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99, which is where most of this stuff will be appearing. Uh, past few weeks without buying anything has actually been a uh, silver lining. Uh, it's allowed me to uh, get caught up on a lot of stuff that's been sitting around. So keep an eye on the store. And uh, till next time, it's Will Yard Sales Survivalist, and we'll talk again soon.